We're Jazz and Crystal, this is Bella and Izzy, and we've been living and traveling in our van for over two years. Join us each week as we share our adventures as we navigate through life on the open road. Subscribe to our channel and join the pack. Classic. It looks like what? $75 like at a yogurt. fancy restaurant? <laughs> yogurt on your nice cutting board. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Thanks, Todd, for the pad. No worries. We heard big YouTube stars were coming. <laughs> <laughs> Rebecca. Good morning from the beautiful woods in Nova Scotia. If you missed last week, we made it to the East Coast and we got to meet our amazing friends. This is Tyler and Todd and these are their two dogs, Charlie and Eddie. These four have a love for travel and seeing the world together. Over the last year and a half, they've traded it all in to build a beautiful off-grid home in the woods in Nova Scotia. We've been getting to know each other over FaceTime for a long time now and we're excited to finally be together and make some memories. We're currently on their property and they're giving us a little bit of an in on what it's like to be living off grid out here. So it's time to get our hands dirty and learn a thing or two. What time is it? It's solar, solar time. <laughs> it's solar, solar time. <laughs> All right, so we have 1000 watts of solar on this beautiful roof. And I have to say, installing solar on an RV is much different than a van. So what we did, well, Todd's idea, here's the stink hole, and that's where our wires that are going to go into their electrical system is going to go. That way, inside the RV, you won't see ugly wires run across a nice beautiful white wall. I'd say it's a pretty genius idea. And then no holes in the RV. They're both through? Uh -huh. Woo! Man, solar is so much better before. I am taping down all of our wires. So when we're blowing in the wind, driving down the street, we don't want things to be flapping around. So I'm sealing it with some Eternabond. How's it going up there? Good, we just finished. Nice, us too. I wish I was doing what Bella was doing. You got a good life, girl. So we've just run the wires from the top through the RV all the way down to the electrical system. So now we're just gonna put these so that they're nice and clean because I don't want to be the one that messes up all of Tyler's work and makes it messy, so. It looks good though. It I'm looks excited. amazing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, this looks like a time bomb, eh? Nice, yours is nice and simple to get in, eh? Oh my god, I thought that was an electrocution. That literally, <laughs> I was like, what just happened? <laughs> yeah, Crystal's using our new film camera, and Tyler and I were down, whoa! <laughs> Tyler and I were down there, and I literally saw it, like, bolts, electrical bolts are coming out because of the, the flash, because we are, oh my gosh. But then I, nothing happened, and I was like, oh my gosh. Smile. Thanks for the camera, Colin. So fun. <laughs> Whoa! 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 That's so exciting. Is it Wait, light on? Like yeah. Wait, like turn on their solar. Whoa. So like you it's did actually it. working. Let's go turn on the lights Let's try something. Oh, yeah. and the RV. Actually, it's working. It is. <laughs> Ready? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> this is like. Game changer. Game changer. <laughs> Woo! I'm actually like speechless. This is a oh, really big You guys job. did it! Good job! Thank you for your help. Good work! You yeah. guys did it all! We were just here to plug and play. No, you definitely kept us on the right track. <laughs> <laughs> it took us a week to get that far. <laughs> what now? Let's do 120! Do you want to do it? Let's do 120! Oh, you want to do 120? Do we want to do 120? Oh! <laughs> 
Whoa. Whoa. Clean cut. It almost looks like a sushi roll. <laughs> <laughs> what are we having a roll today? <laughs> yeah. What's for dinner? Crab, avocado, I am a sesame <laughs> seeds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Thank you so it's been much. A day. Holy. Good job, team. A day. Look at it. Black and thick. <laughs> it's now night. <laughs> Pro tip: You are installing electrical? Call the dream team. <laughs> the Canadian dream team. Now taking bookings. <laughs> we can't get to the 120 electrical because we're missing a fuse, obviously. But everything is run, which is pretty impressive, I have to say. And look we'll at the lights. Power. It'll be so much power, better. baby. Power, baby. <laughs> and we can even monitor. What are we sitting at? 13.26 volts. Damn. That means it's time for dinner. <laughs> Chef Crystal in the house. It smells so good. Ready for dinner. My teeth have never felt brighter, whiter, or cleaner thanks to Tao Clean. The sonic technology not only cleans my toothbrush, but it gives me the cleanest smile. It kills 99.9% .9 of all bacteria, including strep, the common cold, and the flu. The powerful UVC lights in the base of the toothbrush kill all germs and viruses. The part that I love the most is that when you store the toothbrush upside down, the head is protected and it dries the toothbrush out. That way it's not sitting in water until your next use. It uses 40,000 tiny brush strokes per minute to rid of plaque and gently polish away surface stains. You don't need to brush roughly. For me, it's a more mindful way of brushing. You let the brush do the work. And if you saw Jasmine's old toothbrush, you'd understand how she's benefiting from Tao. <laughs> And you can choose your color. We got silver, you can get black, white, rose gold, or the new limited edition colors, Robin's Egg White, Blue. Blue. <laughs> what a descriptive color. Very descriptive color. Or Suave Mave. Dental hygiene is cool. And as Jasmine says, couples who brush together stay together. Tao Clean is offering 50% off. Correction, Tao Clean is now offering you 62% off site wide and free shipping within the US when you purchase two or more products. Click the link in our description and use our code at checkout. We'll see you at the river. Just a short little river walk, straight to the perfect swimming hole, woo! Rescuing the floaty? Yeah, <laughs> I couldn't wait. <laughs> Pretty sweet find. Good job. Really hard work. <laughs> You guys are doing great. Thanks. Are we all set up? Yeah. You can catch us down by the river. Float in the day away. This is the good life. Oh. off-grid and van life living to boat life! <laughs> she doesn't like boat life. Uh, That's what I'd gather. I, I Zero out of ten for Bella. <laughs> We've been floating on this river for a good three hours. The water is warm. 
company is good? It's a good day. There's, Tunes? There's good sticks. There's good sticks. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no one around. We're really in the middle of nowhere on this floating river. So. It's beautiful. <laughs> the dogs love it down here. It's the perfect little getaway. I feel like I'm in Southern Carolina right now. It's so lush and the entire riverbank is greenery. There's probably some gators, yeah. <laughs> Stay safe from the gators, Izzy. Stay safe from the gators. I got the fire in you to keep you warm. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Nothing like a fire after a river run, eh? Mm. Are we river rats? Right <laughs> I'm gonna take my shoes off. I'll take them. Thanks. Did you bring the goods? Oh yeah. Are you ready for a spider dog tutorial? Here with Crystal Drinkwalter. At the land. <laughs> These are spider dogs because They've got Ooh, legs. Yeah. See those legs? Rotisserie vegan dog. <laughs> <laughs> Special. Make your campfire hot dogs fun. <laughs> would you like a Spidey? I sure would. They can be cooked on um, <laughs> their, um, <laughs> What are you doing over there, snack queen? We're doing dandies. <laughs> That's what's up next. <laughs> Never had those. <gasps> you just wait. Oh, game changer. Game changer. <laughs> you need merch that says game changer. <laughs> we all do Would I you think. buy that? Comment below. <laughs> Are you in double at a time? Yeah. You don't mess around, no. lady. Oh. What's on fire? Just get your dandy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> You're having a double one right now? Whoa. Isn't that what it's for me? Yeah, go for it. <laughs> you gonna bite it? Watch your teeth. Yeah. Oh! oh holy. Imagine That's so good. Now imagine that on an Oreo. Some Oreos. Tyler made? Not at all. <laughs> Spent two hours in the kitchen. <laughs> Crystal made breakfast. <laughs> all right, no tomatoes? That's me. You don't Thanks. like tomatoes? No, they're just gross little gushy seed balls. <laughs> You're I try and like force him to eat them, but. Thank you for work. breakfast. Thank yeah, you so much. Home. No meal is mediocre around here. We've got avocado toast and we've got yogurt bowls. Look at this. It's us four from the future, and we're here to give you a tour of Tyler and Todd's land. We're gonna walk in a line the whole time. Where are we starting? <laughs> the RV! All right. So we've been living here for a little over a year, and it all started, seems like everything, from COVID. So we were traveling full-time in another RV, and then COVID hit, so we came back to Nova Scotia and started this project. But about two years living full-time in an RV. Yeah. And you renovated this completely on your own? Yes. Completely on our own. Yeah, so, so this beautiful. is a 30 foot, um, I don't even know what, we just call her Connie, because it's a cougar. <laughs> cougar. <laughs> cougar Connie. <laughs> and we just installed the solar, as you saw in the vlog, so now it's completely off grid. We have everything that we need to be self sufficient in the middle of the woods. So, oh, oh this is my two dogs. Oh. Yeah, this one's Eddie, and then we've got Charlie who. It's on the mend. He's on hey, the buddy. mend. But inside, we've got a full kitchen, living room, bathroom, and a bedroom. <laughs> Everything that we need. And the best features, eh? Boy, oh <laughs> and if we take a sharp left, we've you... got our gazebo. So, so this, this is a really important space to prevent bugs from annoying <laughs> us all the time. Oh, they're right there. <laughs> yeah, and then we've got a barbecue and a cooktop out here, so when it's really hot, we try and do most of our cooking out here to keep the heat and humidity out of the RV. Smart, and this is where we have our family dinners. <laughs> <laughs> On this beautiful, huge picnic bench. And it's an eight foot table, which is really nice because that way we can both sit on opposite sides and spread out and have like a really nice working space when yeah. it's hot. So this is one of the many features on the land. Fire pit. The fire pit. 
Yeah. Absolutely essential. Yeah, it was essential. So you built and designed all of this on your own? Yeah, so this was just forest when we got here and we followed sort of the land and like the depression in it and we built a pond here. So this is where we divert all of the rain water from the driveway and the woods comes down the hill into the pond and our goal is to turn this into a large scale aquaponics to then water our gardens. Amazing, wow. you're so self-sufficient. Yeah. So eventually there will be a greenhouse area over there so we're gonna have the water going in a pipe underground so Come on yeah. over. We'll plant babies. Fingers crossed it feed works. Us. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of feed us, show us the garden. <laughs> Everything is like so beautifully landscaped and naturally landscaped out. It's like my favorite part. Like, yeah, it's the use, details, eh? Yeah. Like, it's like they use like the tr tree trunks, I guess, like from when they had to cut down trees for clear yeah. everything. So this is our vegetable garden area. Um, yeah, we built these planters. They're based off of Google culture. So inside, there's actually only about 12 inches of soil. The rest is filled with stumps, then branches, then leaves. And the goal is over the next 25 to 40 years, they'll slowly re-add the nutrients back up into the soil. So we don't actually have to add compost to these ones anymore, just our ground beds. And then as we get older, we don't have to reach down and you know do all of our gardening. It's at a really nice height. Love older, it. Older, eh? Aren't yeah. you old enough? <laughs> <laughs> the shade today, drink the coffee. Yeah. The peas are ready too. These two full things are filled with all different types of peppers and then that is filled with tomatoes. So we eat a lot of salsas and you know spaghetti, spaghetti sauces, sauce. all that kind of stuff. And that's really expensive in Canada, so. Yeah, and then you can have it throughout the winter. Yeah. yeah. And our yeah. salsa doesn't taste good. Like Tosados, is that that salsa? They throw in heat at Tostitos now? Right? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, oh my goodness. It's probably made in a subdivision anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stop talking now. So this area is actually massive. There's garden beds surrounding these tall garden beds all the way around, even over into the corner. Yeah, it's probably about five sprinter vans wide and long. <laughs> <laughs> it is, Yeah, right? and then over Longer. here, we have a water tower. So when we have like really sunny days, we'll fill the water tower from our well here. And then because it's elevated, it creates its own pressure off grid completely that we water the gardens with, so. Wow, truly off grid. <laughs> Mm. So how many acres is the land? So we're on 10 acres here, but the developed part is probably only about two to three acres and the rest is just left. Eventually we'll build some trails through it that we can still access it and explore it and maybe build a tree house. Yeah, and you have ongoing projects. So everything behind you, that will soon be yeah. transformed. So the reason this is so open here is because we're going with a solar system. So we're installing a 12,000 watt, is Hell it? a 12 kilowatt system that will power the entire house once it's built. So it's gonna go there and in order to actually get sun on it, we had to clear this big area. So now we're back filling it. So this is going to be like a gardeny area and then we're gonna have a greenhouse there and the panels will be right there on the north side of the solar field. I should have brought my coffee. So this is the area that we built this week. And as you can see, things move really quickly when you're doing big projects like this. Um, but yeah, we're really liking it. It's a nice little suntan area and yeah. it's a place to relax. We wanted somewhere with some sun because the house is actually going here, which is really exciting because they're gonna be craning it over top of the trees, the components of it, but the deck won't get really good sun, so now we're able to tan where the solar panels are. And you can have a fire here. Exactly. Yeah. And you have room for friends. <laughs> Take a seat, Jazzy. Hey, Grandma. Nance. Who? Who's Nance? Todd's Nance. Oh, this oh, is yeah. the perfect tea Comes for tea. That's right, that's so nice. So walking down this path is where you get to our outdoor shower that we built. This is our outdoor shower. So right now we use the water from our well, which is 260 feet down, and it comes to here. This is an instant hot water heater made for outside and it goes through the rain uh, fall shower head, but we can get like within maybe 15 seconds, we can hit 104 degrees. It's off piping this. hot, eh? Yeah, it's I really I can vouch good. for it, it's a really great shower. <laughs> and you don't have to turn it off. 
Yeah. So right where I am right now on the land, the shower is in front of me and behind me, we've got two trails, one going this way and one going that way. All of the trails back here, you've built completely on your own. We did, yeah. we got a wood chipper, which was a really good investment. So all of the trees that we had to remove for different projects, we wanted to repurpose them and we put wood chips on the forest floor. So Amazing. part of the goal is the dogs, they actually have learned to follow the trails for the most part. And then that's minimizing the damage that we're doing to the floor of the forest, which was kind of cool because this spring it actually worked. And just beside the trail, we were able to grow a lady slipper, which is an endangered plant here in Nova Scotia. Oh my God. So it was really cool. Yeah. And so initially too, you had found these trails because they were animal trails? Yeah, so we actually intended the trail. We started over there and then we realized that this was a natural animal path through here. I don't know, like deer or yeah. rabbits or something, but it was just a way through. So we've just followed it. You two are incredible. Thanks for caring for the environment. <laughs> well, you're gonna have a shower? <laughs> oh, get me out. So when you walk down this path, you eventually get to a bug-free hammock over there. And then you have a beautiful view of the hillside there with the peat moss pond. The goal is to turn this into a walking and snowshoeing trail that will just have all kinds of like, you can change up the path where you're going today and see different things, so. All in your backyard. Exactly. Wow. It's like an off-leash dog park. <laughs> <laughs> Very own. Is Very that your young. dream, Jazzy? Yeah. <laughs> Can't oh, wait to have my own off-leash dog park. So this wide open area here is where we're gonna be spending this winter. Last winter we lived full time in our RV and it was not a very it fun sucks. experience. <laughs> yeah. So we are gonna be building a luxury geodesic dome here complete with a sauna and it's gonna be yeah. kind of a winter escape. We're actually, we're kind of toying with the idea of even taking an IBC, one of those great big 250 gallon tanks and building a wood fired hot tub to spend the winter. So that's gonna be this area overlooking the peat pond and our showers there so I know where I'll be spending my winter <laughs> <laughs> so cool so this entire area you just did this right just yes. like this week so it's a work in progress and we've got a little six foot trail on that side that you can get to here with an ATV from the driveway for bringing the material in while we're building so wow so the goal is eventually we'll have our house on the complete other side of the property and then this spot here <laughs> and then and then this spot here will be for some of you to eventually come visit the land so. amazing you truly have to be here to really feel what it's like to be standing in the middle of the woods on this beautiful land every little detail and the passion and the love behind all of these projects really shines through it's very very beautiful and they've done such an amazing job already i can't wait to follow their journey and see just how much more they create out here Thanks for the tour. Anytime. Now back to regular programming. Rainy day activities with Tyler and Todd. Exploding kittens. <laughs> We've had an amazing week with these two wonderful humans. They post every Sunday as they are travelers, adventurers, and they're building a beautiful off-grid property. So follow their adventures. We're gonna link their channel on the video here and in the description. And the story continues at 11 o'clock on Tyler and Todd with Charlie and Eddie. Oh. See you Sunday. See you Sunday. See you Sunday. Oh. Yeah, I love it. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Woo! What is that, Izzy? And the two of you just <laughs> shut up for a minute. We're trying to do a video. <laughs> We're trying to vlog here. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I was picking my tooth really when oh. you did that. Oh, turn it back on. Should I turn this camera off? It's off. It's on. Oh yeah, I, I turned it back on. Come on. It's not, <laughs> that's funny though. Like okay. That's, oh, that, that's a, there's a blooper clip there's a blooper, in there yeah, for okay. sure. Cue the music. <laughs> Just a short little river rock. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Behind the scenes. <laughs> yeah. Here. <laughs> 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 You're killing me. <laughs> You're on your own. Sorry, I'm tripping over my words. <laughs>